Hey guys, Zach from Say What Zach here. So I've been doing, again, I just did the American League All-Star um, video for like the rosters for the American League All-Stars. And I've realized, again, kind of like the National Hockey League, there's a lot of players who are probably not going to be in it because of call-ups and all that fun stuff. So, well, I guess different National Hockey League, more injuries and people not wanting to go. American Hockey League, players being called up. So I figured I'd go over the ones who are on the American Hockey League all-star lists that are called up right now. There's a lot. I'm going to go through them. That's why if you guys can't read it, it's fine. And I did want to apologize up front. So I originally said that the American American League, uh, American Hockey League, can't speak, all-star game was kind of like the National Hockey League all-star game, or like three-on-three -three tournament and all that stuff. It is not. I've been doing a little bit more research, watching some more videos. Um, it is actually a six-game, ten-minute-long tournament, Ron Robin. And the two best teams from that play a three on three tournament style is what I believe I, I never uh, people were saying. So it's a little bit different from the National Hockey League. It's kind of cool. And again, I do think it's based more on like who's having really good years more than just star players. So that's kind of cool too. Where there's several of the National Hockey League ones, just like Brain Holpe off the top of my head. Shouldn't be in the, in the All Star game, but he is. Anyways, and we're in the Edmonton Oilers because. The best, I would personally believe, the best player on this list is uh, playing for Edmonton right now. And Griffin Zach is the only American Hockey League hat I have right now, and I like wearing it. It's nice to wear. Anyways, get into it. And there's no American Hockey League games on. Sorry, I know it's kind of all over the place. But anyways, that's why none of this is updated. There's no games till Wednesday. Into this, though. Players who are called up to, America, to the National Hockey League that might not be back for the All-Star game. Sebastian Ajo, the defenseman for Bridgeport, he has not played in the NHL yet, and I'm just going over their stats in the NHL level, I guess, so you'll know their names, the players, the team they play for, and their stats in the NHL level. So, uh, Sebastian Ajo has not played in a game yet in the 2019-20. Uh, he was called up because Pellick, uh, I believe, was injured for the Islanders, so he has been called up, but he has not played. He didn't play tonight against the Avalanche, which I was a little surprised about. But yeah, I did not say that on the stat sheets I was looking at. Andrew Agostino from Scranton, uh, Wilkes-Barre, Scranton. He is now playing for Pittsburgh, obviously, because they're affiliates. He's only played in one game. He has no points, and he's a he's a minus one uh, for Pittsburgh right now. So he hasn't done do hasn't done much yet for Pittsburgh. I could see him definitely being sent back down when somebody's healthy. So he might be back for the All Star game. We'll see. And that's another reason I put all the stats up there. If they're not doing well, I could definitely see them getting sent down again and possibly making the All-Star game. Yeah. Chris Drager for Springfield. He's played in six games. He's won four of them. He has a goals against average of 1.82 and a save percentage of a 944 right now for Florida. Uh, he is playing better than Bobrovsky right now, so I wouldn't be surprised to see him stay up for a little bit and see how he does at the National Hockey League level. So he might not be back. Uh, Igor uh, uh, Sushurkin, uh, he plays for Hartford. He has not played in the NHL yet since his call-up. He was called up because Henrik Lundqvist, I know there's a lot of rumors going around that he's somebody might be getting traded. From what I heard, his Lundqvist is sick, so he's got to be back up. Until Lundqvist gets better, then he should be back. So he should be back for the All-Star game in January. Uh, Rudolph Balsers for Belleville. He's played in two games and no points. He has a minus zero for Ottawa right now. So he, I don't, I'm not sure about Ottawa. Ottawa's a little bit more of those. They got called up for injuries, but there's some of the young players. So I couldn't, I could see him possibly getting something back down once somebody's healthy. I could also see him keeping some of the rookies up there to play. So that's, these ones are going to be a little more of a toss up. And then Drake Batherson for Belleville. He's played in three games and he has no points. He's a plus zero also for Ottawa Senators as of right now. So he could be, um, again, sent back as soon as somebody's healthy. Neither one of them has any points. They've only played three and two games apiece. So really not, it's more of a sample size. But um, I could definitely see him making it to the All-Star game if they do. Uh, Nathan Gerby uh, plays for the Cleveland Monsters. He's with the Columbus Blue Jackets. He is one I wouldn't be surprised if they keep up. He's played in six games. He's had one goal, which was one of them was tonight. So I think that, I think that was add-on. I think he only has the one from tonight. But anyways, he has one goal, two assists, three points, and he's a plus zero. So, in six games, he has three points. That's pretty good at the National Hockey League level for a rookie. So, I could definitely see him keeping Nathan Gerby around, even if they get a couple players back. He might be one that they try to 
keep up for a little while. We'll see if he makes it with the All-Star game. Ben Street plays for Binninghampton. Uh, he's played one game for the Devils, no points, plus zero. So he could definitely be sent back down as soon as somebody's healthy. Um, we'll see. Alexander Carrier plays for Milwaukee Admirals. Right now he's in Nashville. He's played in one game for Nashville. He has no points, and he's a uh, plus one. So, again, I can't see him keeping him up and either one of the Milwaukee guys up if they get healthy. If one of the players gets healthy, definitely could see them sending them right back down. So I wouldn't be too worried if you're a Milwaukee fan. You should have your All-Star players back in the All-Star game. Back before the All-Star game, should I say. Um, Jensen Harkins. He plays for the Manitoba, Manitoba Moose. He's currently with the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, he's played in seven games. He has no goals, two assists for two points, and he's a minus one. So he's been okay for a rookie. He's only played in seven games. Two assists isn't horrible. Again, I could see him staying up for a little bit. If he's producing a few points here and there, wouldn't be surprised to see him stay up for a little bit longer. Uh, so, again, if you're a Manitoba Moose fan, you might be seeing someone else get selected, depending on how uh, the Winnipeg Jets heal and if they see him being fit. If he pro keeps producing points here and there every few games, I wouldn't be surprised if they keep him, but we'll see. Uh, Yakov Tyrion from Milwaukee. Again, don't think he'll stay up once Nashville's healthy. Uh, games played, eight. He has two goals, two assists. He's a plus four. Uh, sorry, he's four points, and he's a plus five. He would be the one if, if out of the two, out of, out of Kyrie and Tyrion, I would say Tyrion would be the one they keep, obviously, over Kyrie because he's having a much better run right now with four points. Kyrie has... No points, even though he's only played in one game. So I would definitely say Yakov would probably be the one staying up there over Kyrie, but we'll see, because I think Matthew Shane right now is out with an illness. I'm guessing, what, I think one of them's up there for him. So once he comes back, I definitely get to see at least one of the, the Milwaukee Admirals being sent back. Um, Kale Kalig, uh, Kalig, I think I'm saying that right, for Ontario. He's played in four games for the Kings. No goals, no assists, no points. He's a minus three. He was a healthy scratch tonight against the Columbus Blue Jackets. I checked. So we'll see how that goes. If he's being a healthy scratch as of right now, I could definitely see him being sent back down soon, uh, at least sooner rather than later. The next one is a little weird. Martin Furk for Ontario. Uh, he's It says he's with the Kings as of, he played as of uh, like a day or two ago against Pittsburgh. I think it was against Pittsburgh. I know it said January 5th. It wasn't maybe Pittsburgh. Uh, it may have been Nashville. Um, but it says he played. But I don't see him on the roster for tonight's game. So I don't know if he's still with them. If they send him down. I didn't see any news when I was quick glancing through. I didn't see any news about them sending him back. So as of right now, I'm just assuming he's on the team. And I don't know. He's up there. He might already be in Ontario. So you might not have to worry about Martin Furk. He's played in five games with the Kings, though. He has three goals, no assists for three points, and he's a plus zero. So he's done okay for the Kings. Not amazing. I could definitely see him getting sent back down to the Ontario Real League sooner than, rather than later as well. Uh, and then the big one, Kyler Yamamoto. So that's why I'm wearing the Oilers. He's placed for Bakersfield. He's currently with the Edmonton Oilers. So he's one I don't think is going to be going back to Bakersfield anytime soon. He's been playing very well for the Oilers and playing pretty good on the wing for some of their some of their top players. So I could definitely see him keeping him up there. Uh, he's played in four games. He has two goals. I believe one of them was tonight against the Toronto Maple Leafs. He has one assist for three points in four games, and he's a plus four. So I could definitely see Bakersfield having to find another player to send to the All-Star game. So if you're a Bakersfield fan, you might have to, you know, go see the Edmonton Oilers player, watch him on TV. Uh, if you want to, if you want to see Yamamoto again, it's going to be someone else from Bakersfield. That's my assumption. That's my feeling. He's playing way too well for a team that needs wingers and players that can produce. And the Oilers are starting to pick it up. So I definitely see him staying with them. Anyways, that is a rundown of your. All-Stars that might or might not make it to the All-Star game for the American Hockey League. But we shall see. Um, it's still towards the end of the month, so we still have a couple weeks left before it starts. We'll keep an eye on it and see who gets switched out and what happens all in all. We should find out in the next week or so. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, no no American Hockey League action tonight, but I want to do something with the American Hockey League. Kind of just kind of keep it rolling with the league. So, decided to go with this. If you guys liked the video, give us a like and subscribe. Um... Again, give us a share, and this is Zach from Say With Zach. I will talk to you guys again soon.